Good evening, welcome to the evening edition of From Day One. Where we left off with our subset moron in a car. We pick up with courtesy of our friend, Law Taco Mike. Register within seven days. Clearly we're over that time frame as well. So um, your car is getting impounded today. Um, you're getting a couple of you're getting a couple of tickets and we'll we'll Alex, uh, we'll go over everything from there. Here, Morty, that event will be one golf, one Foxtrot Hotel. Where's that one? Out of Georgia and Alabama, please. Ten to forty, it's coming back fifty two. It's fifty two. So Camara? Yeah. Okay. That was off of one of the other stickers on there. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's a hidden one. Good catch. No, well, this just changed. Yes, it does. Do you want me to do it? I'm going to let you do it. Go ahead and start, please. Can you forward it to me? You can also disregard my head. Just double check. Send it to me, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Arrington, so, so I am waiting on more further information on uh, on the on the vehicle. Okay. Um, so upon further investigation of the vehicle, making sure that it's registered properly and everything like that, we were able to find a, a, a secondary VIN of this actual car. This car comes back stolen out of Alabama about two years ago when you told me you had initially purchased the vehicle from somebody over there, okay? So I'm awaiting confirmation on that stolen vehicle. You said it came like a what now? Say again? You came like what now? Yeah. It's stolen. That's a stolen car. About the same time period, you told me that you had come into possession of the vehicle, okay? You have it registered, or not registered, you have it insured in your name under the VINs that I've run from the dash and the door stamp uh, to State Farm. So, so where are you getting another VIN from? I don't understand somewhere over the door so i'm waiting for that um based off of what the computer system and the uh the gcic operators tell me on the i really like the officer yeah yeah the time frame tracks with what you just said when you came in put into possession of it so it's stolen right at the same time that your your night is about to change uh, for the worse okay i'll be back with you shortly whenever i get confirmation on that all right If you were with us in the afternoon, oh, yeah. as soon as they said 52, so, I was like, uh-oh. Which, which VIN did you see? This oh, yeah, VIN, yeah, yeah. Oh, the oh, you can get a VIN. library card. Oh, they, they, to make it close. They, they got really close because this one's not the same, same as, that. as that one. Yeah, but this one is stolen. There's a couple other locations on here that you can find hidden VINs. I just haven't looked for them yet because that one's a loser. There's hidden one they said there's one on the firewall too, but I don't know exactly where it is. They also said on the app either it was on the firewall, and if it's not on the firewall, it may be on the passenger uh, floorboard. Or... They said there should be one up in here too, but. I can't seem to find that one. Good deal. Good. Yeah, good catch, man. Deal. I told you that was a mistake. You were ready to just cut them loose on tickets. Well, I saw the door stamp and I was like, oh. Okay. Uh, no, that's your fake, too. <laughs> that's all fake as hell. So, that should be on the engine as well. Yeah, I, figured I, figured really I just don't know where to look for it. Yeah, and there's one on the chassis, too, right? One on the chassis, and there should be one under the passenger seat, but it has to rip up the carpet. I don't know anything about this except for what I've seen on other videos, but I, th I think tampering with a VIN is like a felony in a lot of states, too. I, I mean, we, we, we got a pile of problems here. Well, let's see how it finishes. And they already said they're confirming, right? Yes, yep. I already asked them to confirm it. Yes. Yep. Stolen out of a GMC dealership. I know where Murfreesboro, Alabama I know where Murfreesboro, Tennessee is. Yeah. I don't know about Alabama. 615? Oh, I mean, I guess you wouldn't know. I had time to eat my dinner, and they never shut up. So, uh, All right. 
Well, what do you think, my dude? Let them go sit in Fulton County for 600 days while they're while they're uh, kicking around and indicting him. <laughs> Good catch, man. Thank you. Should have stolen. I'm just gonna leave the owner blank, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, because it was out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, right? Correct. I'm just gonna put stolen out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Because the hit says it was stolen from GMC car lot in Murfreesboro. Say again. What do you mean? What does that mean? The car is stolen. That's what's going on. It's stolen. Okay. That's fine. What you, you probably were the one that did it. It's not stolen. If oh, not, you at least know it. All right. Mr. Arrington, at this time, you are under arrest for possession of stolen property. Here you go. Here's another charge. What is that? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um... Okay, um, take that, if yep. you don't mind. I'll put it in there. Since you're impounding the car, can you do the search? Mm -hmm. um, anything else you find? I thought I smelled a little bit of it, but it was kind of faint. Good for you, because so. COVID wiped out my smell. Yeah, um, it did. I'll add that on here. Anything else I find, I'll put in my sub, and I'll do the evidence on it. All right. All right. Thank you. Anytime. Yes, sir. <laughs> Serial number Hotel Lima Yankee 5067 HLY 5067 on a Smith and Wesson 40 caliber. Well, then, this just keeps getting more and more fun. This car is the gift that hey, keeps on giving. Yeah. This is the bag he was digging around. Oh, the now we found a gun. Day. Yes. There was a gun in there? Yes. There was oh, a gun. that's... Wow. That's, I don't Boy. like that. I don't either. Let's take well, a back here. I'll bag this, too. That's... Oh, this just keeps getting warm. Uh, it's a good experience, you know. And that, I'm going to charge him with um, felon, felon mm -hmm. possession of a firearm. Because he was actually charged with that too. In, in the past, way. not okay. recently. Um, I've talked to Debbie. <laughs> Two tender radio. Show me en route to headquarters. Which one I don't mail. Wait, so we got drugs, gun, stolen vehicle, tampered van. And a partridge in a pear tree. And, and dummy knowing this. Go around with an unregistered vehicle and try to soft sit crap. Yep, Great with the soft sit plate on it. Yep. When you're gonna ride dirty, let's ride all the way dirty. Christopher Arrington, by the way, the soft sit in question is being arrested and charged with the following theft receiving stolen property convicted felon in possession of a firearm possession of a firearm knife during a crime hold on let me get more of the list here possession of marijuana several other traffic offenses <laughs> Here we go. Jail copy of it. Eight zero five seven five. Oh. One adult male for a theft by receiving. Mike, talk to us about it. Well, there you have it. That was pretty wild. That that was crazy. That was a lot more than I expected. In fact, I got partway through that while <clears throat> I paused it at one point, and I thought, y you know, I'm not even hearing that this vehicle's stolen. You can see the facts developing, and I thought, y you know, Alabama Mike has... Uh, 
has clickbaited us here. But no, he did not. He actually undersold it. He undersold and overdelivered. Round of applause for Alabama Mike. <laughs> For those wondering, Alabama Mike was the one who originally showed Law Talk with Mike before they showed it with us, this particular video. I can't believe, oh, I can't believe you'd try that stuff. You know the, if you're living that life, you, you know the problems you've got. I, I, I it, it makes, uh, it blows my mind that you wouldn't try to keep a low profile and, and keep things under control. But Yeah, as we always used to say, Mike, if you're know. driving dirty, don't, don't know. Maybe you he'll know, figure it out. He's, he's going to spend quality time at the library now in the jail. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's what I got. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. Oh, there might be a good one. I've, I've gotten some good yeah, tips from people from several sources Yeah. that one of our favorite soft sits is going to show up in Webster tomorrow Ooh. i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to who i that. think it is i've got an appearance that i don't know if it's going to conflict or not yet but i'm going to try to stream that if i can and then and then we've got the return of uh the crazy stuff sit in front of gothier i think the next yeah. day i don't know we, we've hey got if you can't do it tomorrow sit. let me know and i'll find it and get it for you i'm gonna try to get to them all i really am i really am all right let me check here oh wait i yeah, Mike. If you if you can't just shoot me, what courtroom and about what time, and I'll t tape it and record it down, and then edit it down for you. You've definitely helped us with enough. I can definitely.